this evening. The Ministry of Social Cohesion has plans for 2018 and beyond. Lights are coming to Starbrook Square. Muslims worldwide celebrate the birth of the Prophet Muhammad. And internationally, Mexican farmers fight drug gangs to grow avocados. From Safe TV headquarters in South Rival Gardens, this is Safe TV Headline News with George Gonzalez. Headline News is now being streamed live on our YouTube channel. Join us. The Ministry of Social Cohesion is getting a bigger budget. Esther Sobers tells us about the plans Minister Norton has for his ministry in 2018. Minister of Social Cohesion George Norton reminds the attendees to learn from the lessons of the Prophet Muhammad irrespective of their religion. On behalf of the team of China 2 Headline News, we'd like to wish our Muslim brothers and sisters a happy Yumanabi. Now back to you, George. Thanks, Esther. Today, Minister of State Joseph Harmon disclosed that the contract between the government of Guyana and ExxonMobil will be made public in December. Minister Harmon did not disclose a specific date, but he stated that the matter was discussed at Cabinet and the agreement was made. By Christmas, Stabrook will be awash with light, courtesy of the Ministry of Public Infrastructure. Here's more. Stabrook is a historical site. So um, for the festive season, we expect to have that area well illuminated. Just in time for the Christmas season, the Ministry of Public Infrastructure is installing several street lamps in Stabrook Square. Crews worked well into the evening, breaking ground and setting the bases for the soon-to-be-installed lights. At night, that particular area is very dark, so the government, the ministry, through the Ministry of Public Infrastructure, um, we have taken a decision to have a few lamps installed. But Starbrook Market is only one part of the ministry's grand campaign to illuminate our streets nationwide. Dozens of communities that have never had street lights are having them installed. As I speak, I think we're now doing some um, street lights installation at letter T in region number six. Um, you know the number 19 road. Um, we're installing lamps there. We've just completed some works in Aurora on the Estuary River Coast. And for the first time, the people in that month there on the Estuary River Coast they are now receiving light. So that is what we did in 2017. And we will be continuing to ensure that other major areas are well illuminated. While much of this work was done in 2017, there are other infrastructural plans for all 10 regions. We basically would continue to be maintaining our roads because, you know, we inherited major deplorable roads in this country, in all 10 administrative regions, you know, so this year, we were, you know, even though we didn't get the amount that we actually bargained for as a ministry, but what we have received for 2018, we will try and make it do for all 10 administrative regions. 
Budget debates begin next week. Once it has been approved, Headline News will inform you of more specific projects slated for 2018. The man accused of stealing from three media operatives on Saturday has had his day in court. 21-year-old Albert DeFreitas Jr. appeared before Chief Magistrate Ann McLennan, charged with three counts of simple larceny. DeFreitas denied that on the day in question at Battery Road, Kingston, Georgetown, he stole a quantity of items valued around $500,000 from newsroom cameraman Akeem Thomas and TVG reporter Ramona Luthi. According to reports, Luthi and her fiancé Tameshwar Ramcharan were on a pre-wedding photo shoot with Thomas. The stolen items were left inside a vehicle. The perpetrator managed to smash a window to gain entry into the parked car and stole the items. DeFreitas was arrested by the police after attempting to sell Thomas's laptop. The magistrate released DeFreitas on $20,000 bail and adjourned the matter to December 11th, 2017. Don't go away. We have more news coming up after the break. Are you running out of ideas of what gift to buy? Scared of getting the wrong size or color or something they already have? Why not try a gift certificate from John Lewis Styles? Available in any dollar value and can be used towards clothing, shoes, and accessories. Let the person choose exactly what they want and they'll definitely be happy. Gift certificates can also be used as employee bonuses, sales incentives, and office gift exchanges. So try our gift certificates today. John Lewis Styles, simply different. Season's greetings from Kisul's Furniture Store. For the best Creole food in town, come to Ridley's Restaurant. Taste our hot meals, fresh bread, and sweet pastries. Our spacious dining hall is free for all occasions. For reservations and more, call 226-2518 or 225-7245. We're open Monday to Saturday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Wrigley's Restaurant, located at 38 Rob Street, Lacey Town, between King and Wellington Streets. For breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Wrigley's Restaurant. Tasty and healthy eating. This place is really hot. What's wrong with your AC? It's not working. Well, we wouldn't be able to continue this meeting anymore because this place is extremely hot. Wait, wait, wait. Please don't go. Here's a company you can call to get your AC fixed. Action Cool. Honey, what's dinner? I had a hard day. I'm sorry you had a hard day, but guess what, babe? I didn't cook today because the stove is not working. Having trouble at home or at the office? Then call the professionals at Action Cool. Our fully trained technical team have the skills and experience in repairs of all air conditioned units, refrigerators, gas stoves, washing machines, and a whole lot more. For further information, visit us at 86 Hill and Princess Street, Mandela Avenue, Georgetown, or call us on telephone number 225 7867. Need a ride around town and beyond? Look no further than Oasis Ride Taxi Service. With affordable prices and some of the best drivers in the business, we've been delivering prompt and reliable service to Guyana for over 16 years. We also offer tours, chauffeur service, and even car rentals. You can call us at 231-5554 or 225-5494. 5496. For deals, specials, and more information, find our page on Facebook. Always it's Ride Taxi Service. Welcome back. On Thursday, a 37-year-old businesswoman appeared before Chief Magistrate Ann McLennan. She was accused of importing a horse from Trinidad and Tobago without the proper documents. Colette Parks of South Rhinevelt Park, Georgetown, is charged with importing a horse on June 13, 2017, without complying with the rules of the Animal Health and Wildlife Act. 
Parks did not have legal representation and pleaded not guilty to the charge. According to reports, on the day in question, customs officers were clearing a ship at the GNSC wharf when they discovered the horse. Officials of the Guyana Livestock and Development Authority carried out preliminary investigations at the wharf as to its origin. The magistrate released Parks on $75,000 bail and adjourned the matter to December 6, 2017. Minister within the Ministry of Public Infrastructure, Annette Ferguson, invites all Guyanese to attend a grand event hosted by the People's National Congress Reform. The People's National Congress Reform was founded on October 5, 1957. Last month, the political party held a series of events to commemorate the occasion. This weekend, the celebrations come to a grand finale. Come this weekend, the 2nd of December, we will be having our gala and dinner. So the cost per ticket is just 6000 Guyana dollars. The event is more than just a dinner. We will be starting at 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. So it's basically uh, within that hour we have deemed it um, the happy hour moment. And then just after 8 o'clock we'll be having the actual dinner. And, you know, we have more, more attractions on board. We'll be having a cultural presentation um, amongst some other items on the program for Saturday night's event. Minister Ferguson invited all to come regardless of political affiliation. You don't have to be a member or card-bearing member of the People's National Congress Reform to come to our activities. The tickets are being sold countrywide, and once you see the need to support a worthy cause, well, you just purchase the ticket and you can come and enjoy. The PNC's 60th anniversary gala will take place at Congress Place Sophia this Saturday, December 2nd, 2017 at 7 p.m. Today is the Muslim holiday Yunam Nabi. Esther Sobers tells us that the Ministry of Social Cohesion celebrated it in grand style. Minister of Social Cohesion George Norton reminds the attendees to learn from the lessons of the Prophet Muhammad irrespective of their religion. This Guyana enjoyed a high level of religious freedom and tolerance, as was stated by Brother Sheikh Moin. I believe that there is an ideal place to start. So I urge you all that the word of Prophet Muhammad inspire and guide you to break every fictitious barrier that separates us as a people, as a nation. Let us all be that true Guyanese citizen of one people, one nation, with one destiny. On behalf of the team of Channel 2 Headline News, we'd like to wish our Muslim brothers and sisters a happy Yuman Abi. Now back to you, George. Thanks, Esther. Today, Burbis Sugar Estate workers gathered at the Auckland Primary School to protest the decision to lay off hundreds of employees as part of the restructuring plan of the Guyana Sugar Corporation. The protesters chose the location because Prime Minister Moses Nagamutu and other officials were at the school celebrating his 70th birthday. The protesters reminded the Prime Minister about the 400 workers who received letters from the Rose Hall estate. Don't go away. Still ahead, we have our regional news, our international news, and your seven-day weather forecast. Stay with us.
season's greetings from Kisumu's furniture store. For the best Creole food in town, come to Ridley's Restaurant. Taste our hot meals, fresh bread, and sweet pastries. Our spacious dining hall is free for all occasions. For reservations and more, call 226-2518 or 225-7245. We're open Monday to Saturday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Wrigley's Restaurant, located at 38 Rob Street, Lacey Town, between King and Wellington Streets. For breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Ridley's Restaurant. Tasty and healthy eating. Are you running out of ideas of what gift to buy? Scared of getting the wrong size or color or something they already have? Why not try a gift certificate from John Lewis Styles? Available in any dollar value and can be used towards clothing, shoes, and accessories. Let the person choose exactly what they want and they'll definitely be happy. Gift certificates can also be used as employee bonuses, sales incentives, and office gift exchanges. So try our gift certificates today. John Lewis Styles, simply different. What's wrong with your AC? It's not working. Well, we wouldn't be able to continue this meeting anymore because this place is extremely hot. Wait, wait, wait. Please don't go. Here's a company you can call to get your AC fixed. Action Cool. Honey, what's the dinner? I had a hard day. I'm sorry you had a hard day, but guess what, babes? I didn't cook today because the stove is not working. Having trouble at home or at the office? Then call the professionals at Action Cool. Our fully trained technical team have the skills and experience in repairs of all air conditioned units, refrigerators, gas stoves, washing machines, and a whole lot more. For further information, visit us at 86 Hill and Princess Street, Mandela Avenue, Georgetown, or call us on telephone number 225 7867. Need a ride around town and beyond? Look no further than Oasis Ride Taxi Service. With affordable prices and some of the best drivers in the business, we've been delivering prompt and reliable service to Guyana for over 16 years. We also offer tours, chauffeur service, and even car rentals. You can call us at 231-5554 or 225-5496. For deals, specials, and more information, find our page on Facebook. Always it's ride taxi service. Welcome back. We now take a look at the region. In St. Lucia, Prime Minister Alan Chastanet is once again defending his air travel schedule after returning from another whirlwind overseas assignment. The government's leader says his role as chairman of the OECS and CARICOM lead on climate change requires high-level meetings with the power brokers on the world stage. Chastanet disclosed that most of the meetings focused on climate change resilience and garnering aid for hurricane relief. HTS News Force brings us that story. Prime Minister Alan Chastney explains his overseas trips were necessary to drum up support for the Caribbean. Chasse spent most of November abroad with visits to several countries in the past few weeks. They range from state visits, summits, conferences and bilateral talks. Chasse insists some of the trips were planned as part of an effort to source aid for storm-ravaged territories. If Maria had hit St. Lucia, that what we're seeing in Dominica would not be our outcome. Um, and there are several constraints in us as governments being able to resolve the problem um, and so we've been out fighting so I've been wearing both my hat as the chairman of the OECS as well as the lead prime minister for sustainable development and CARICOM um, so several of the meetings I've had to attend are on that basis and these were meetings that were only just put together as a result of what happened with the hurricane. Chastne also disclosed that some of the meetings were pre-planned for example, dialogue on de risking In Grenada, and there's possibly another meeting with Mr. Macro in Paris. Um, but we're all trying to work collectively together to, to resolve these issues so that we could, we could move, move forward. Um, there are trips that were already pre-scheduled. Uh, so my meetings with the Canadian banks 
on corresponding banking and de-risking, which has huge implications to us moving forward. Uh, my meetings in Mexico was a state visit. Moreover, the Prime Minister says his cabinet is well equipped to handle matters at home in his absence. Since assuming office in June 2016, the Prime Minister has spent a lot of time overseas, with critics calling on the leader to cut back on his travel schedule. Gina Felipe, HCS News Force. And internationally, as demand for avocados has soared in places like the U.S. and Europe, the industry is becoming very lucrative for Mexicans. But it's also been targeted by drug gangs. And in the heart of Mexico's avocado plantations, some producers have wrested control back from the criminals. BBC News has more. Es, es mucho mejor porque estás muy tranquilo, no tienes problemas. ¿Y qué, ¿Qué es lo que nos interesa? Por la seguridad, estar tranquilos. ¿sí? Entonces, si nos cuesta, anteriormente pagamos y no recibíamos más que malos tratos. And now for the seven-day weather forecast. And that's Channel 2 Headline News for this Thursday evening. As we take our leave, we invite you to find Channel 2 Headline News on Facebook and YouTube. You can also tune in tomorrow morning at 6.30 for a rebroadcast and Monday evening at 7 o'clock for more news. For now, I'm George Gonzalez signing out from this newscast saying thank you for welcoming us into your homes and do have a blessed weekend.